welcome everybody to our new Orca Stadium. My name is Adam. I'm one of the trainers that gets to work with these amazing killer whales. And we are so glad you guys are here. Now, we are doing what we call a glimpse into Orca Encounter. All right, if you've been here before, maybe you've seen our Orca Encounter presentation. All right, now, our goal is to get back to doing the full Orca Encounter presentation. But if you haven't been here before, you may not have noticed that we have a lot of new things here. All right, this area looks very different than it did a little more than two months ago. With the last two months, we've had a construction site right here, and there's been a lot of changes. The color of this has changed, the color of the pool has changed, the textures have changed. All of this that you see behind me, this has all changed. There's been a lot of change. And so, our animals have noticed that, and they need to acclimate to these new things. They need to become comfortable with this change. And the way that we're doing that is we're showing them what has not changed. And there's quite a few things that have not changed. Us trainers, we haven't changed. We're still doing the same thing that we do with our animals on a day-to-day -day basis to love them and take care of them. The audience, the presence of an audience, that has not changed. We've had folks out here for many, many presentations. So you guys are a constant. You guys are a normal thing and we're gonna have you guys help us. There's lots of other things that are not uh, that are not changed, that are remaining the same. The behaviors that we're asking them to do, the music that gets played during the presentation, the way that we communicate with our whales using our hand signals, and this, I love to show this off. This is, uh, we call it our tone box. It has buttons on it, it plays sounds underwater, and it allows us to communicate to the whales when they're not right in front of us and looking at us. So that's the same. Uh, we use target poles. I don't have one with me, but you'll see them used throughout this presentation to help the whales know where we want them to do something or when we want them to do something. And so that's the same. The, um, the, the reinforcement that we're giving them, the fish, back rubs, all those sorts of things, those have stayed the same. So we're using all of these things that have not changed to show the whales that it's okay that a few things have changed, all right? So that's why we're calling this a glimpse into Orca Encounter, because we're gonna be doing elements of Orca Encounter to show the whales some sense of normalcy out here while still getting them used to the new things. Now, something that we just did before you guys came in is we opened up this over here that we call the slide over, right? This is our front pool that we call A pool. Right behind it is B pool, and there's a sliding over area right here. And as you see on this side, this one's not open, right? So this one, they don't have access to over there, but they do have access now to slide over between these two pools if they want to. So that's brand new. We haven't asked them to slide over that yet. Another thing that you may see during this presentation that's brand new is asking one of our younger females, Malia, to slide up on that square area out there in the front, that area we call the slide out. And asking Malia to go up there with that new color and that new texture possibly over there, she's gonna notice the difference. And if she goes up there, that's a big deal. And whenever we see something that's a big deal, even if it's a little baby step, like touching a new surface, that we want to celebrate. And so that's what we're gonna ask you guys to help us in this period of acclimation. When you see us cheering or when you see something you really like, we want you guys to go totally nuts and let the whales know that that's great. We're gonna be reinforcing them by rubbing them down and giving them fish and you guys, that energy that you bring to the environment is awesome. And it's gonna help with the acclimation process. So when you see something you like, let them know. If you see us cheering and going nuts, you join in. We wanna make this as positive and as fun for these whales as possible. Now you just noticed Mal um, Malia and Nalani, our two younger female whales, just did a little loop out here, right? Kind of checking things out. So they are pretty comfortable with, uh, with this environment. We've been doing these glimpses for the past few days now. I believe this is, this is day three? Four. Four. This is 
day four. So we're making baby steps uh, towards this goal, all right? Now, the plan for this glimpse into Orca Encounter is to do like a, a practice open, right? We're gonna do an opening segment. You'll hear the music for that. And then we're gonna switch from our female whales to our male whales and try a finale segment of the presentation, all right? So that's the plan, and we'll see what the whales wanna do. We're gonna, uh, we have a plan to what we'd like them to do and what we're going to ask them to do, and they'll let us know what they're comfortable doing. They don't have to do any of the things that we're asking them to do, but we know our whales really well, and we have a pretty good idea as to what they're gonna be comfortable with, with where they are now, and what they've shown us so far over these last few days. So in just a little bit, we'll ask the whales to, uh, to come over to some trainers to start this training session, and we'll start the music, but not quite yet. All right, Laura here will let me know when we are ready to go. Okay. Okay. All right, great. I'll let them know. Um, I'm good then. Go for it. All right, so here's the plan. They're ready, they're just gonna ask the whales to go back to the pool. They're gonna close this access from the slide over, and then we'll start up the music and see if these whales wanna do the opening segment of our Orca Encounter presentation, all right? So remember, if you see us going nuts or if you see something you really like, let the whales know, be really loud, and it looks like we're ready to go. Everybody, let's roll that opening music.
Nawani and Malia Hazabaye. Yeah. And you see Justin giving them a bunch of fish. Uh, that's our way of saying thank you, right? Like we said, they don't have to do any of these things. But if they choose to do them, we're going to say thank you by giving them fish, back rubs, jello, play toys, hose play, all sorts of things that we know that these whales enjoy as a way of saying, hey, that was amazing. Thank you for doing that. And, and that was wonderful. So that was a great step. That was a great step having them slide up onto that slide out area. Wonderful. So thank you. Thank you guys. That was, that was wonderful. You guys helped so well. That was amazing. All right. So they're going to head up now to Bravo to be pool there. Um, We'll see if the whales let us close this door over there. That's door number one. All right, and then in a few minutes, we're gonna attempt the finale segment with our two male killer whales. So now let me kind of set you guys up for what that one looks like, all right? Now they're gonna be back here in Charlie Pool, C Pool, and we'll open up uh, door number two here for them to be able to come out and do our finale segment. Oh good, Look, it looks like this is uh, closing all the way. And wonderful, great, great, great. All right, so uh, I should also let you know that the finale segment of Orca Encounter does include quite a bit of splash elements, all right? So those of you in the first 15 rows all the way around have the, the potential to get wet. Now, depending on where you are in that area, you may get just a sprinkle, maybe you won't get anything, or you might get just totally drenched by our male killer whales. These boys are 6,000 and 8,000 pounds, and they use their tails to throw this 52 degree salt water onto you guys. So that is your splash warning. If you're in these first 15 rows, there's a potential that you could be very, very wet. All right, some of you may not, but some of you may get very wet. All right, so yeah, it, I see a few folks moving to higher and drier ground, that's, that's great, it's your preference, all right? So in just a few minutes, we'll start up the music here when they let me know that they're ready. The trainers have to finish up uh, reinforcing the girls and then ask the boys to come over and if the boys, uh, if our males come over, then they'll open up that door. So if we see that door open, we know we're in good shape. And now I will let you know that the boys have had a little less time out here compared to our females uh, to acclimate to this environment. So, uh, so we'll, we'll, again, we'll go with whatever they're comfortable with. Uh, earlier today, we, were, we did see both of them come out here and do some great behaviors. It was wonderful. We were able to reinforce that. So, all right, okay. Looks like the door is opening. So that means we are ready. Let's roll the finale music.
boys who slid out on that brand new surface. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for celebrating these successes with us. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your day here at SeaWorld. Bye-bye.